Hey everyone, it's Kelly. I am back today with a new PicMonkey tutorial. Today I wanna to show you how I add a white border to my photos and also how I add text to my photos. So starting out on the home page, I am going to click collage. The collage feature in PicMonkey is still included in the old PicMonkey, which is just the previous version of PicMonkey. Now to get the collage to work, you have to enable the flash because it is no longer supported. So you just need to follow the steps that I did there. You're gonna click enable and then there's gonna be a pop-up that will come up that you need to click allow. Now once you come in to the collage panel, you're going to go to add images and click the little drop down, and then you wanna choose wherever you're storing your photos. So my photos are on my computer. I save them in Dropbox, so I transfer them from my phone to my computer via Dropbox. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and select a photo that I want to add a white border to. It's then going to be added in to the stock images that you see on the left-hand side, but I need to change the size and the dimension of the collage that is showing on the screen there. So I'm gonna to go to the next icon down on the left-hand side, which is the layout option. Once I get there, I'm going to pick create your own. And then I'm going to go down to the little taskbar on the bottom of the screen and I'm going to type in the dimensions of a 4x6 photo. PicMonkey does use pixels, so you need to change the photo to what a 4x6 is in pixels, which is 1800 by 1200. The collage will be locked to a square image, so you'll need to click that little padlock icon in the center in order to change that to a rectangular shape. So then all you're going to do is you're going to drag and drop your photo into the rectangle and it'll automatically place it with a white border around the edge. Now you can manipulate the photo a little bit. You can pan the photo up and down just by holding your mouse down and dragging on the photo. You can also click on the little, the little pencil icon in the center of the photo and there you can change the photo size. You can zoom in, you can zoom out to make the photo a little bit larger. Now for me, I like to make the white border just a little bit larger, which you can do that in PicMonkey as well. On the left hand side, if you click on the little icon that looks like the paint palette, on the very top option is the spacing. You can drag that spacing to the right and that will just increase the size of the white border. Once you're happy with the photo, then you're just going to go up and click on export and save it to your computer wherever you would like to access it. Now one other thing that I wanted to show you in PicMonkey is that you can do rotation with the photo as well. This photo was a little offset and I wanted to rotate it just a little bit. I also want to increase the size of the photo so I'm going to go ahead and use the size option, drag and drop it, just slide it up and down on the screen as well until I get the orientation that I like within that rectangle. Now to rotate the photo, I'm going to click on that little pencil icon again, and I'm going to click on effects, and I'm going to click on open an image editor. It's then going to take me where I could edit the photo. You could also edit the brightness. You could convert it to black and white. You can do all of that within this tab, but I just want to rotate the photo. So I'm going to click rotate, and then I'm just going to use that slider to rotate the photo just until I'm happy with it. I just wanted to straighten it a little bit more. Then I'm gonna click the orange icon at the top that says back to collage and it'll automatically place my edited photo into the collage for me. And then I, once I'm happy with the photo, again, I'm gonna click export and just save it to my computer. One other thing that I wanna show you with PicMonkey is how I add text to the photo. Now you could do the same thing in the editor that I used to straighten the photo, but I like to use new PicMonkey to add text to my photos because there are more font options. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pick this photo down here. These are three screenshots that I took of my Stitch Fix box. I wanna include that in my Project Life spread. But on the screenshots that I took, there was a little bit of text from the app from when I saved the images. So I wanna clean all of this up. I wanna remove all of the text that is on the photo. So I wanna show you an easy way to do that as well. And I should mention how I opened this photo. So on PicMonkey's homepage, I just clicked create new and then selected that I wanted to choose the photo from my computer. So now getting back to removing the text from this photo, I went to the graphics option on the left hand side and then I selected basic and I chose a rectangle. 
Now the shape is automatically placed onto the photo as black and I want to change it to white because my photo is white. So you can do one of the two things. You could type the number in as I did, which is just F, 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 F. It's as many Fs as it'll, as it'll let you put in there. Or you can use the little eyedropper tool and just drag over to a white section on your photo and select that and it'll change the rectangle to white for you. Now I have multiple areas on this photo that need to be covered up. So I need to place multiple rectangles. So one thing that you can do is you can keep inserting a rectangle and changing the color of it. You can right click on the rectangle you already have on the background and click duplicate layer, or you can use the shortcut key on your keyboard, which is control D to add more rectangles if you want the same exact shape. So I did a little bit of both there. I used the shortcut and I also added a second rectangle, changed the color of it and the size of it a little bit just to cover up the areas that I needed to continue covering. Okay, so now we're going to move on to adding text to the photo. And to do that, you're gonna go to the left-hand side and you're gonna click on text and then you're gonna click on the blue button that says add text. Now another pop-up will open up on the screen. The drop-down that I clicked on right there, that is going to give you all of the different font options. Now I wanna use a typewriter font. It's a font that I tend to default to when I am using PicMonkey because it's very similar to the typewriter font that I use when I actually use my typewriter. And it, I believe it is called the King Things typewriter. I can't read it on my editing screen here, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. So I want the text to go the full length of the photo. So what I did was I grabbed a hold of the little blue rectangle that was on the background and I grabbed a hold of the right hand side. I drug it all the way to the edge of the photo, grabbed a hold of the left hand side and drug it all the way to the left side of the photo. That will make the blue rectangle the entire width of the photo. So wherever that blue rectangle is, is how wide your text will be on your background. Now you can also change the size of the photo within that same text box that you used to choose the font. So I have minimized it a little bit. I've made the font a little bit smaller. You can use the arrow keys on your keyboard to arrow over if you wanna to try to center it a little bit more, if you wanna offset it a little bit. And it's just really simple to add text to the photo. You can also use the cursor just by hovering over the blue rectangle on the background to move the photo up and down. You could use your arrow keys to move it up and down. Like I said, it's very, very simple to add the text. And I think it just has such a big impact on the photos that you use in your scrapbooking or in your project life. And I love being able to add my stories directly to the photo. So once you're happy with it, you're gonna go ahead and export it, save it to your computer. I do wanna show you before and afters here. So here is the before, and then here is the after. It's much cleaner. My story is already on there. I don't have to worry about adding journaling in another way once I get it into my spread. And here's a look of how the spread came together. Now I do have a process video showing how I put this spread together. If you're interested in checking that out, I will make sure to include a link to that on the top hand right excuse me, on the top right hand of the screen and then also in the description box below. Please like this video or leave a comment if you did enjoy it or if you found it helpful. That really does help me in knowing if these type of videos are helpful and something that I should continue making. I do wanna thank you all so much for watching and I will be back again soon.